come to the seated position. Keep the body straight. Arms facing up, chin mudra, and then slowly look at the tip of your nose. Slowly close your eyes. in under the of the chest. Inhale. Okay, so we need one leg. 
pele spinning stiti dandasana hands on the side spine stretched Right now, bring one leg in, right leg in maximum, touching the bottom, and then hold it down, and then the other leg, take it in, and then fold it down. Right now, do the movement and down. Keep raising and try to bring the legs down. Now bring the legs closer. If the sole can touch the perineum, great. Right. And do the movement up and down. Hands on side and side by side. Inhalation and exhalation. One side in air, other side exhale. Keep the body straight. Push up, inhale up, exhale, push up. Now inhale. Exhale, push down maximum, stay there if possible, hands straight. So when you are straightening the hands, actually you are even lengthening the spine as well. Exhale, forehead on the floor. Bring your hands behind. Interlock, bring your hands behind and interlock. Now take a nice inhalation. Exhale, stretch your hands and then fold it on them.
Slowly stop the movement. Bring it down. And then you bring the left leg in, right leg out. Again, now bend the leg. So, left, sorry, right leg, right foot is on the left hand, and right hand is on the left, uh, right knee. Now bring the body forward again, leg touching the chest, and then do the movement. Keep the spine straight. Try to bring the head down and then inhale, come up again. Inhale, exhale, bring the head down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bring the head down. Inhale, 
Come on. Exhale, bring the head down. Bring the head down. Come on. Now bring the head down and stay there a couple of seconds. Come up, bring down the knees. So, today in our standing practices, we will have to twist the body like this, right? So, we will do a couple of exercises to improve the twisting of the spine, right? So, game come forward. Fist, keep it where your right hand is, and then take the other hand in Chin Mudra and look up. So look at your hand at the top. Yeah. Exhale, come down slowly. Now, again, like a table like position. Now, bring your right hand, right elbow to where your left arm is, right? Here, see here, and then look up. Look at the upper hand. Now, you are like this. Now, we are going to bring the shoulder level to where our arm is. So, and then bring your left hand out and keep the full shoulder on the floor and then bring the other hand up and look up. Exhale, come down slowly, keep your hand down and then slowly come up. Right. So we are going to do the same practice to the other side. First point is position. Now keep the feet flat. Now take the right hand. And then under the left hand out. Then bring the left hand up. Look at your chin mudra.
Mirror, Exilion, Hangar. Here, now sit on your feet, bring the knees together. So we go back. Now bring your left hand in a fist. Now bring the left hand on the side of the knee. Right? So exhale, turn the body, turn the body, and then bring the elbow on the side. And then take the other hand up. Now bring the hand over the head, over the head in front. Inhale, use the right hand as support and come up. Right. And a fist. Keep it on the left. So first of all, turn the body and then place the elbow down. And up. Inhale, exhale, hand over the head. Now use the left hand as support and use the left hand as support and then come. Now relax a little bit so. You can keep your both hands like this, elbows together in front of you and keep the chin on the hands. Release the elbows, release the palms, and now stretch the hands on the mat. Then keep the forehead on the floor. Exhale. Now you go ahead with our practice, right? So watch your legs. Hands out. And then come up. So, first asana, as we know, let's move ahead with the Trikonasana. Okay? Then we will go ahead with the R.
Russia won at us. So come to the side. See, Dandasana. So keep together. Ankles, feet tightened, calf muscle tightened, knees holding, thighs tightened, and then buttocks forward, stomach in, chest out, hands just hang. Then you look forward. Go to the right side. So keep the right leg out. Now oh, make sure that the toes are facing forward. Right? The toes are facing forward. Okay. Now from here, in the air, bring your hands up. Then exhale, push the hip to the left and then come to the right side. So you can come to the knee first, and then slowly on the calf, 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 and then slowly on the ankle, and then you can actually keep the hand on the floor, and then look up. Don't hunch forward, body has to be in line with the whole legs. So if you look at it in the side, you are in one line. So push the hip to the right and you move to the left. Look up. Come up, slowly come up, no sudden coming up. So make sure when you are in the asana, you don't hunch forward, right? So if you look at it from the side, you have to be like this. See, the body is not going forward. Right? Asana is not this, right? Not like this. So the body has to be in one lap. Then come up. So now we did the Trikonasana. So we here, Tadasana. Keep the body tightened. Inhale. Exhale. Go to the position. Right now, we are going to go to the right side first. Right. So first of all, we bring the hands up, and then we take the right foot ninety degrees to the right side. Now, again, we push the hip to the left, and then inhale. Exhale, we go down, body one line, hand in front of the foot, and then look up. Thank you. 
air come up, slowly, right? Slowly come up. Now bring the right foot facing forward again. And now the left side, so left foot is taken 90 degrees. Now push the hip to the right. And then exhale, go down. Body facing forward, not to the side. If you feel like hunching forward, then keep the legs a little more apart. And then you go. Inhale, come up. Now bring the foot again facing forward. Now exhale, bring your hands down. And then inhale, exhale. Come back. Right, so from here we're going to move on with the Parshva Konasana practice. Right, so just uh, relax your legs a little bit. Hands a little bit. Okay, good. Okay. So we are on the side of the mat. Again, come to Tadasana. Now, inhale and exhale, bring the leg out. So right leg to the right side. Inhale, hands up. Now right foot to the right side, facing right. Now exhale, yeah. Go to the right, make sure that the knee and the calves are in right. Again, as inflation, exhale, bring the right hand in front of the foot and then left hand in line with the left leg and look up. Inhale, again, come up, with the body, leg is still there. Inhale, exhale, release the leg. Now, slowly turn the foot forward. Now, turn the foot to the other, to the other foot is turned. Now, Okay, inhale, exhale, 90 degrees, and come to the asana. Okay, exhale and come to the asana, hand in front of the foot, and then right hand in line with the right leg, look at the hand. Inhale, release, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now turn the foot forward, bring the hands down. Now bend the knees and come back. Right, so good. So we all can do the asana very well, right? So the next is basically 
we should do the partial konasana. Just watch. We did this. Now we want to do the Pariruta Parshva Kona Asa. So we take the hands and then turn. Right? Turn and then opposite hand then leg. And this one. Right? So sometimes it's a little hard for people to do this lock, right? So we will try the simpler method to go for it, right? So how we do that is, so we have kneel down on the mat. Let me show to the right side first. So kneel down on the mat. Right. Okay. Now we bring so one, so both legs are behind, right? Both legs are behind. Okay. And then I bring one leg to the other. Okay. So now see very comfortably we have done part of the asana, right? So this leg has to be like this. So we have done that part and no stress, nothing. Okay. And then slowly bring the other leg to the side. Okay. Now you can use your hands even just to balance a little bit. Right. Go forward, come back a little bit. Go forward, exhale. And you come back in here. Right. Now we are here. Okay. From this point, now slowly turn the body to the side. Turn the body behind. Okay. Turn the body behind. And then lock your hand, lock your left hand to the right knee. Turn to the front. So you have like this. Lock your left hand. Right, like this. So that's the body. And then keep the neck arms down. So now you can keep the palms fully flat on the floor. Yeah. Good, stay there. Yeah. And then slowly. Lift up the other. Straighten the other leg. Then be on the, its toes. And then bring the other hand up. You got it. Slowly come down on the knees. Release the hands. Slowly come to Vajrasana. Okay, so when you are in that position, now we kept our right leg in front, left leg behind, and then the final position we kept the foot, left foot like this. So this is a very uncomfortable or more than uncomfortable, it's comfortable, but not balancing enough, right? So what we do is when we go to the final position, right? So just watch the this leg. So there, sail turn the body. Take my other hand up and go up, and then turn the leg and place it right. Again, turn 
the foot, knee down, one hand, other hand. Got the technique? Yeah, right. So let's do the same thing to the other side. And then we will come back to this side again. Right? Right. Now keep the left leg forward. Left leg is forward. Now with the left leg, we need to keep the right hand. So then we need to twist the body, twist the body behind, and then go down and keep the right shoulder at the knee level. Right arm down, left hand up. Now, right leg straightened and position the feet well. And look up. Slowly, again, take the foot and the knee down, release the hands one by one, turn the body forward, bring the left leg behind, and sit the Vajrasana. Right? Do this asana very slowly because we are going to a position, turning the body, and then we come down, so it has a lot of twists, so if you, may not it, if you release it too fast, it may not be the best choice for the body. Right? Okay, good. Relax a little bit. So you can relax actually, keeping the hands in front, keep the face point and relax. Deep inhale, exhale. Long, deep inhalation, exhalation. Right, okay, hands down, keep the shoulders down and then come up. And then walk back and jump to the left. Right, slowly, that's not hard. Right. Okay, now let's move on to the practice again. So, feeling that's right after that. So, which is good. Okay, so we will do the left leg, then we will do the right leg. Okay, so come out, left leg forward, and then come. 
come up and then turn the body to the left. So left leg, turn the body to the left and then right leg on the floor. Or turn the body and then take your right hand and then turn the body and then bend forward. Place the hand down. Now other hand up. Now lift up the body and place the leg. Arigata Arshwar Kona Asana. Look up, stay there. Inhale, exhale, release the hands. Turn the body forward. Bring the leg behind. Now, bring the right leg forward. Now, come up. Now, turn the body to the right first. Turn the body to the right. Yeah. Properly turn the body to the right. Now, bend forward. Try to look up, right? Then you can actually keep the twist and bend forward. Exhalation, start in. Now place the hand down, other hand up, lift the leg, and place the leg properly. Then look up, look at your hand. Exhale, bend the knees, release the hands, smooth body forward, bring the leg behind, in Vajrasana. Now, you have the hands forward, just walk forward and then keep the forehead on the floor. And put it on the floor. Up, then the elbows, keep the elbows on the mat and keep the hands, so elbows together, hands on the face. Relax in the position.
keep the palms down and slowly come to the time where dark, so up the toes and then come to downward dog. Exhale, lift up. Now inhale, exhale, head on the floor. Inhale, come up, and then go to Udvamukha Svarnasana. Upward facing dog, knees lifted, you are on your toes only, knees lifted. Yeah. Knees down, feet flat, exhale, come to Shasanapasana, Panchanga Namaskar. Come on. Right now, slowly lie down and relax a little bit. So again, lying down, sit down, release your legs, and then ankle support one after the other, one elbow, other elbow. Body on the mat. Now keep the legs apart. Hands apart.
So we have the letters together, bringing out legs together, bringing our hands on the side of the body. Now, bend the knees and turn to the right side. Keep one hand under the head, right hand under the head, and then other hand in front of you, keep the body Use both hand support and come to the seated position. Keep the eyes closed. Sukhasana. Keep the hands in chin mudra on your knees. Keep the body straight. Neck straight, head straight. Bring the hands in and deep in the Thank mm -hmm. you.